so this is my everyday carry pocket first aid kit. Um, it's in a three by five pouch, and um, I try to, you know, when I put everything in it, I try to put some pressure on it and get as much air out of it as possible. That way, I can fold it over. Uh, once it's folded over, I can keep it in my cargo pants pocket of my shorts, or my jeans pocket, or the breast pocket of my dinner jacket, or whatever. So let's let's open that up, and I'll go through and show you what's in it. I want to go ahead and go through the contents of my everyday carry pocket first aid kit. I always keep uh, one of these uh, packs of two surgical sponges. They're eight ply. Keep it folded up just for um, have a smaller footprint in the bag. Uh, I keep one of these um, antibiotic band aids. This is a rather a larger one for larger cuts. keep a couple of these Dr. Scholl's blister treatments. These are just one um, cushion. Hopefully you can see that uh, little pad there. But uh, these are really nice to have if you're out walking or on a trek or something and um, get a blister. I also keep a couple of these. Uh, these are called Tough Strips. They're 100% waterproof band-aids. And these are really great band-aids. They will last about three days before they start to uh, deteriorate, even in water or rain or the shower. So um, that's a really nice item to have as well. I also keep a small piece of cardboard with about three yards of medical tape. Uh, you could also use athletic tape as well. Um, you'd have to check different brands. Some brands stick better than others, but uh, I keep just a small piece of cardboard in there with some tape. I also keep um, a couple BZK uh, antiseptic towelettes. Uh, I really like this brand a lot because the towelette seems to be quite a bit bigger than some of the other ones I've seen and they don't dry out as quick. Uh, so if you have this kit in your uh, roller bag in the back of your rental car or um, somewhere that's uh, really hot, uh, it's not likely that these uh, these tallets are going to dry out. Um, I also keep some uh, some of these little baggies I purchased on uh, I think I got them on eBay. It was uh, like an assortment of 200 of these little baggies for a couple bucks. They come in pretty handy when you're putting um, uh, medications. That way you don't have to carry the whole bottle. But these are the generic. Uh, version of Imodium for anti-diarrhea. I also keep some Aleve or Naproxen Sodium which is an over-the-counter painkiller and these are some extra strength Tylenol for um, fever reducing and uh, pain. Among other medications I also keep some uh, this is motion sickness tabs uh, which you know I don't really have a problem with that, but if I was on a boat uh, in high seas for several days, I usually start taking these in advance, uh, just in case. And I also keep some couple Pepto chewables, and um, in addition to that, I keep a couple Benadryl just for allergies. Um, I keep some of these. This is Sudafedrin. This is the actual um, the Sudafed generic brand of Sudafedrin that's uh, available uh, with a valid driver's license in the United States. Keep some of those just for sinus infections. And I also have some uh, prescription medication that's just for me. Keep that in there as well. I also carry some Afterbite, which is like a sting relief pad if you get... Uh, Stung by insects, uh, bees, mosquitoes, etc. Uh, it's a pretty nice thing to have along. I also have some uh, Diapin, which is uh, similar to Benadryl, but uh, a generic version that's probably not quite as uh, strong as the real Benadryl, but uh, nevertheless, a little extra. I also keep a couple packs of hand sanitizer. These are really just one time use, they come with a fresh scent and uh, they're really a nice thing to have especially if you're in the field and you don't have access to uh, a bathroom or get somewhere to wash your hands 
to keep them clean and sanitized. So, put those in there. I have one pack of insect repellent lotion. This is really not enough for your whole body, but it would cover your exposed skin if you had, uh, you know, like for your hands or face, it would be plenty for that. Um, I also keep some Blistex. This comes in, it's really nice to have, especially in the winter time, if it's cold out or really windy. Uh, you can never have enough Blistex. Um, I have what's called a splinter out. It's just a small plastic tool that you use if you get a splinter or uh, a shard of metal or something in your skin. This would help to pry it out. And it is a uh, sterile product. Um, last couple items I have are, um, this is just like hydrocortisone cream. Um, or actually it's a burn ointment. Um, so this is be, would be something, you know, if you got burned or didn't have access to some aloe or something, uh, you, you do have that. And I do keep, lastly, a couple of cough drops in my kit. Uh, this is just a 3x5 size uh, plastic Ziploc bag that I keep all this stuff in. And uh, it fits in there uh, pretty compact, and I enjoy um, having this kit along. This is my everyday carry pocket first aid kit. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's useful to you.